Hello, I'm Walton County Sheriff Mike Atkinson. Uh, as many of you are aware, House Bill 631 is coming to effect that dramatically impacts the citizens here in Walton County. Now what that essentially means is, effective July 1st, the Board of County Commissioners' previous ordinance allowing the customary use of Walton County beaches is null and void. Now that's created a very unique situation here in Walton County where, as we understand the law, the Sheriff's Office must treat all aspects of beach property just like any other piece of private property. However, I think we all understand that there are a lot of factors that make this unique. We're certainly dealing with really a difficult situation where the deputy sheriffs, who are the first point of contact between the citizens and the private property owner and the tourists, are now trying to ascertain where property lines are at, um, who is the rightful owner, and really to educate the public on what is and is not acceptable on Walton County beaches. Quite frankly, there's a lot of difference of opinion about this. That's created a situation where the public uh, can unintentionally violate the law. Now, we're going to do our best to educate people. We're going to do our best to mediate and work between all parties involved. Really, it comes down to this. We have to balance the interest of the public we serve, both from the citizen standpoint and from the private property owner standpoint, from the beachgoers and the private property owners. So what does that mean? As we have weighed out these factors, we have tried to decide whether or not we are in compliance with what is the rule of law. Now, the Board of County Commissioners is moving forward with their belief that customary use still applies in Walton County. Well, that's a property law issue. And really, from a Sheriff's Office standpoint, we're dealing with three issues. Property law, criminal law, and really constitutional law, constitutional issues. That's not a good place to be in, I'll be honest with you. However, that is our responsibility, to try and, and to work through this and be the body that mediates between these different interests. As we were looking at this, one of the factors was whether or not a trespass arrest would lead to a successful prosecution. We have to know that. Now, I've recently received guidance from the state's attorney's office that they do not believe that trespassing on the beach can result in successful prosecution. That creates a very unique situation for us. Given the factors of the ambiguity of some of these issues, uh, the convergence of three different types of law, the fact that the Board of County Commissioners is still publicly stating that customary use is in place, it causes a level of confusion with the public and the property owners that we believe, and now the state's attorney's office is seconded, uh, makes a criminal prosecution for trespass under routine activities extremely difficult. Now, as sheriff, I am now aware that the state's attorney's office does not believe that a successful prosecution can take place. Quite frankly, from my standpoint, it would be unethical to order my deputies to make an arrest when I know there's no chance of prosecution. It, it honestly opens up this, this office to litigation. Now, uh, we understand that there are, there are two sides to all of this. What I'm primarily concerned with is the criminal arrest. Again, I proffer no opinion on either customary use, the private property ownership, all that's really irrelevant from my standpoint. My, my belief is to maintain and ensure the peace on Walton County beaches, to make sure that both the private property owners and the public, are, are their needs are balanced. And if there's ambiguity, that's a problem. So we now are aware that we cannot make an arrest for criminal trespass. To be clear, nothing about this action takes away any of the private property owners' ability to exercise their right of private property up to and including any remedy provided them under Florida law. And we will help support that where applicable. What we will not do is make a criminal arrest for routine transversance of the beach, transversing of the beach. Now, this is a tough situation for our deputies to be in. Uh, regardless of what side you come down on this issue, we hope that you understand we're going to do everything I can to meet everything in our power to mediate these problems, to resolve them, to be good stewards of your authority, and to balance these issues. We ask you to do likewise. So to be clear, while we may not make it be able to make an arrest for trespass after warning, if your conduct on private property or your crossing private property disturbs the peace, is uh, in in a manner that is designed to cause conflict in a manner that is designed to cause tumult. We will address that, and there are other avenues besides trespassing to do that. 
I don't know how the court is going to resolve this issue. Uh, I'm, I'm hopeful that we will have an answer inside of the next year. But what I do know is that I cannot, in good faith, uh, instruct deputy sheriffs to make an arrest for trespass after warning when I know that it, they cannot be prosecuted. As such, I am directing my, my deputies not to make an arrest for trespass after warning for routine activities such as walking or sitting um, up or transversing the beach. You know, ultimately we all have to work together. This is a county that at the end of the day, the citizens that want to come and use the public beaches and the private property owners who are entitled to the reasonable use and enjoyment of their property have to learn to get along, have to learn to be good neighbors. Now I'm optimistic that we can do that ultimately, but I think it's best resolved uh, in a civil manner and not in a confrontational manner. I hope that this at least provides some guidance for, for, for the July 4th week, the next couple of weeks. We're gonna sit down and develop some policies. We're gonna try and figure out the best way to work through that. But again, let me reiterate, we do not believe that a trespass arrest can be made on the beaches in Walton County for routine normal activities. Now, we also do not believe that that means that you can go on private property and do and, and conduct yourself in any way you deem appropriate. You know, we're gonna try and say, let's be reasonable and use good common courtesy. And if that doesn't work, then from the Sheriff's Office standpoint, we're gonna do our best issue to resolve that. Thank you for your time.